What's going on? So, I'm going to talk about two different things, maybe more, in this video. It may be interesting, and it might go to shit. What I have here is actually just became an interesting piece of party history. You see, Kathy Glass may be, perhaps, the last Texas governor candidate to use classical Texas party branding. Um, because Select just voted to go with the national party branding, which I don't know is very a Texan. That's definitely not the most Texan thing that Select could have done, but save that for later or another time. But yeah, this is signed by both Tom and Kathy Glass. Signed today at the select meeting where they voted to get rid of, you know, good old fashioned Texas Libertarian Party branding in favor of cheap knockoff, generic, um, meaningless national party branding clip art, basically what it is. Um, but this was in an effort to unify. Let's talk about unification. Here we have a Jeff Dial sign. I want you to take notice. Just get that up front for now. Jeff Dial and Kathy Glass, in case you don't know, don't really get along. Without getting into further detail, I think we can leave it at that. But if you notice, he's also using classical libertarian branding. So even though these two individuals normally, you know, maybe they didn't see eye to eye, they're unified on this the whole time. So that brings me to something else that I want to discuss. Um, I think one of the biggest issues that we face in trying to fumble through problems uh, as committees in using Robert's rules is that at the, at the end of the day, uh, I don't think we really know each other that well as people. Um, and this causes problems. Um, and it invites, makes us vulnerable to other problems. You see, when we don't know each other as people, it's very easy to be played against each other. A subversive element, it's very easy for them to enter the party and spread disinformation here and just spread disinformation there and, uh, you know, stir up factions <clears throat> um, and so forth. Um, <clears throat> when you have new people constantly entering these positions, uh, these voting positions um, that are not familiar with the party history, they're very easily led astray. Um, and this is through no fault of their own. Um, you can't expect people to come into the party and understand decades of history. And we're only now beginning to really compile and organize and digitize this history. Um, and this is something that's very important uh, because, you know, your campaign right now going into November 2020, uh, you might be focused on your campaign and not concerned about these uh, campaigns of yesteryear um, or bygone eras. But who is going to be concerned about your campaign 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now? who is going to be concerned and preserve the work that you did. You see, the fight for liberty um, is a, a slow and never ending process. Uh, you know, and you know, each one of these campaigns represents uh, oftentimes uh, a martyr amongst our ranks. Uh, we do not usually win in this game. The third party, poli you know, third party politics is tough business. Um, and noble are the few that, uh, that champion that cause. Um, so, you know, we should, we should honor those, uh, amongst our ranks and that came before us. Uh, it, 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 
equal, I would say, uh, to, uh, you know, the way, you know, the, the, the military uh, is famous for uh, this, this kind of stuff. Um, and we, we claim to, uh, you know, have these noble views and all that and, and, and often criticize uh, the military uh, in some respects as, as, a, as a party or some elements of the party uh, focus on that. In their, but never mind. Um, if we don't recognize, if, if we don't build upon this, this history and this legacy, then anybody can basically come in and hijack it and take it and just make it something completely different, which was the whole purpose of the, the seven eighths uh, and, and the, the statement of principles and, and the whole purpose of, of things like the judicial committee um, and, and all of this stuff. And, you know, for instance, you know, the his, the history, the historical facts of like how people have been screwed uh, at conventions, whether uh, local, state, national, over the last, you know, several decades, this is useful data. And if you're a new person to the party, especially a new person uh, getting involved uh, in any type of uh, party leadership position, especially where you've got to uh, vote that represents uh, people. Uh, make a solid attempt to pair up with some people who've been around uh, for, you know, over, over a decade, you know, those 10, 20, those people have been around a long time um, and figure out the history, how things have gone down, what goes down, what to, what, what to look out for, what's been successful. Um, and there's, in all actuality, a lot of information right right in front of our faces, but uh, a lot of times we're we're too concerned with what's going on in the moment to worry about what happened ten or fifteen years ago. But sometimes what happened ten or fifteen years ago is relevant uh, in the present, um, or could provide uh, insight or guidance. At any rate. Um, I know that many people don't know that the Libertarian Party uh, has a historical preservation committee uh, that is making an effort uh, towards these ends um, and that they are the ones who basically uh, oversee Elpedia um, and the importance of uploading content to Elpedia. Um, but also, you know, this data hosting and this effort, um, obviously nothing is free in this world. So I know that, you know, we're in election season and there's a lot of donor fatigue, but, you know, if you're a candidate or you, you want to, you know, help, help promote or tip your hat to Elpedia and uh, the historical preservation committee that's making an, you know, an effort to compile all of this, this history, uh, which includes your very own, if you're uh, if you're involved in this party, or if you've ever been involved in this party in any way, shape, or form, for I, I think I think the criteria is like five seconds or something, a second. If you were involved, Elpedia wants to know about it. Um, the people involved in the Historical Preservation Committee, uh, people like Karen Ann Harlos, James Golston, they take this very seriously, very seriously. And we're lucky to have people who are taking this stuff seriously, because if it doesn't get taken seriously by anybody, uh, uh, all this history uh, is very, very easily lost. And uh, it would be a shame to lose uh, more, more history that's, that's already been lost. So good night, folks.